Hi everybody, Ms. Lee here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go over number seven from the unit eight progress check part B. And so in this question it says, let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by Y equals four E to the X plus two. Oops. Uh, the line X equals one and the X and Y axes. And R is the base of the solid whose cross sections are perpendicular to the X axis or semicircles. And what is the volume of this solid? All right, so let's go ahead and attempt to make a rough sketch of this um, curve. So 4e to the x is going to have the look of an exponential function. Uh, and plus 2 is going to mean that it's uh, shifted up by 2 units. So something vaguely like this. We have x equals 1, so we'll call that 1. Um, and then it says by the x and y axes. So if you're thinking about that, um, what it's talking about here is uh, this portion. Oops, I meant to click the highlighter. Is this portion right here. All right, and so it says that the cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are semicircles. And so what that means is that's going this way and coming out are semicircles. and so on and so forth. And so if you're thinking about that, um, you gotta figure out what the area of a sem semicircle is. So you know that you're supposed to do pi times the integral, and then from this number right here, which is zero, up to one of, and then the area of the semicircle. The pi is part of the area of the semicircle, but the area of a semicircle is going to be pi r squared divided by 2. So you got to do the r squared divided by 2. You can factor out that over 2, so you can put the pi over 2 on the outside, um, and then you'll do the r squared. So the question is, what is r? And so if you think about that, r is going to be half of from this curve down to the x-axis. So half of that curve would be this and then divided by two. So that curve divided by two would get you half. And so we have uh, 4e to the x plus two divided by two And then to figure out whether it's uh, dx or dy, uh, well, we see which one it's perpendicular to. And so uh, since it's perpendicular to the x-axis, uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, dx, All right? So let's go ahead and sort of uh, multiply this out, I guess. Um, and so if you multiply out uh, the what's in uh, the parentheses there. So the squared, basically you're going to go ahead and do 4e to the x plus 2 squared. So that's 4e to the x plus 2 times 4e to the x and then plus 2. So this here is going to be 4. Uh, this is going to be 8e to the x. This is going to be 16e to the 2x. And then over here we have 8e to the x. So ultimately what we have uh, from just the numerator squared is gonna be what we have in this box. So let's go ahead and write that out. Um, and so we have pi over two times the integral from zero to one of, and then in the numerator, we have 16e to the two x plus 16e to the x, plus four. And in the denominator, you have the two squared, which is just four. Okay, so just to make these a little bit simpler, we're gonna go ahead and divide each of these by four. Uh, and so we have pi over two times the integral from zero to one of 4e to the two x plus 4e to the x and then plus one dx. So let's go ahead and integrate all this and then we'll plug in zero and one. 
get pi over two times, oh well, well, we're integrating, so we're gonna use brackets here. So if you integrate that, if you use of the two x, you know you're gonna end up dividing by two. And so what you're going to end up with is four e to the two x divided by two plus, and then four e to the x, the antiderivative of that is just four e to the x, and the antiderivative of one is just x. And we're evaluating this from zero to one. So ultimately we have pi over two times, and then if we plug in one, you have four e squared over two plus four e plus one, and then we're gonna minus pi over two times, and then plugging in zero, um, you have four times e to the zero, which is just one, so then it's four over two plus four plus zero, and so if you add that up, you have two plus four, which is six. And so you over on the bottom here, then minus sign, you have uh, minus and then six times pi over two. Uh, and so you have minus three pi. And then in the top here, so that was from this. And then over here, um, if you multiply in the pi over two, uh, you're going to end up with, um, pi times e squared plus two pi e. Oop, didn't time that well, or space that well, and then plus pi over two. But of course in your answer choices, your pi is factored out. So let's go ahead and factor out that pi. Uh-oh, no more space. Okay, so we'll do that up here. So you have pi times, and then in parentheses, e squared plus 2e, and then there's a minus 3, but then there's plus a half. So minus 3 plus a half, that's plus 2 and a half, so plus 5 halves. And let's see which answer choice that would be. I'm sorry, it was supposed to be minus five halves right here. And so let's see what answer choice that would be. And that would be A. Yay! Let me know in the chat, email, or over office hours whether or not you have any questions. Happy day!